Holy shit. What the? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. If you haven't already played through Season 1 of The Walking Dead by Telltale Games by now, stop what you're doing and immerse yourself into its tragic world. It's one of the best point-and-click adventure games ever created, and the story is so moving that if you aren't touched emotionally by its conclusion, then you're deader inside than the zombies that inhabit its world. This video can wait. For those of you who have finished Season 1, Episode 1 of Season 2, All That Remains, is here to continue the story of Clem, the little girl who was protected by Lee in Season 1. This time around, players directly control Clementine as she practices her survival skills and tries to cope alone in an apocalyptic world. Season 1 left off with a cliffhanger as little Clem was walking alone in the field, and in the distance, she sees two walking figures that suddenly notice her, and then the screen cuts to black. That moment was so iconic, it's probably permanently tattooed in the minds of everyone who has played it, and we were hoping that Telltale would recreate that moment to show exactly what happened thereafter. But Season 2 starts a little after that event, and players mentally have to fill in the gaps of that missing time. If you still have your save file from Season 1, the game will import all your choices and have them affect the world of Season 2. If you're like us and you've lost your save files, the game will randomize the events of Season 1 so you can continue the story. Having played the first season a few times and making different choices as often as possible, we were 100% okay with the randomized choices the game made for us, and we were happy to dive back into the dangerous and desolate world of The Walking Dead. Clem is a little bit older and a little bit wiser than she was in Season 1, but despite her wisdom and experience, and the player's wisdom and experience, The Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 1 does a marvelous job of lulling players into a sense of security and then shattering it, over and over again. By the time we completed the two-hour journey, we felt emotionally battered and in need of a warm fire, dry clothes, and a gigantic cheeseburger. For those who have not played Season 1 and have no interest in Season 1, players control Clem directly and move her about the environment, and then click on active hotspots to interact with specific objects. During moments of action, quick-time events appear on screen, though we were hoping to see fewer quick-time mash events this time around. Apparently not all our Christmas wishes will be coming true this year. Dialogue choices are timed, and sometimes not saying anything is a viable option. Dialogue and event choices have both direct and long-term repercussions on how much other characters like you, and in some cases, whether or not they live or die. At the end of each episode, your choices are tallied up and compared to everyone else who has played the game. Though this episode was very emotional and had our hearts racing on more than one occasion, we feel that there weren't as many real tough choices this time around. Instead, this is more of an exploration into the slow but steady maturation of a character who is practically an icon for innocence, as she warms up to a new group of survivors. Graphically, the game is a small step up from the last installment, but retains the same style. For future installments, we'd love to see a black and white filter available for the fans of the comic series. All in all, Telltale's The Walking Dead series continues to stand tall amongst its competitors, and even though most of us are getting pretty tired of media oversaturation of zombies, this series keeps reminding us why we love them in the first place. We anxiously await to see what happens in Episode 2, A House Divided.